welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell. Here we are. And here we are. Today, today is our fourth anniversary of moving onto a boat. Four years ago we picked up our very first boat. So happy anniversary, Mr. Happy Warner. Happy boating anniversary. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Hello, good morning and welcome to Sunday. It is a beautiful day outside. Glenn has gone out, so I'm home alone. This means I'm gonna do some washing and some cleaning up and some other quite boring jobs. I've just hung some washing out. I'm gonna have a little go at getting that seed bed ready. I've got these cabbages here and radishes. Miramar grew these and we're swapping veg. In one of those beds, I've opened the bag of compost and as I thought, it's nowhere near enough to fill it. So probably needs one or two more bags in there. Um, got those cabbages and radishes uh, for Miramar to plant out plus loads of seeds me and miramar we're going to try and be clever with our planting because i was going to plant cabbages she was going to plant cabbages and we were like what are we going to do with all these cabbages so we've decided if she's planting cabbages i'm going to grow something else and then we can swap our produce that's the idea anyway i'm going to clean up and continue tidying inside the boat because it's warmer remember the bonsai trees i was growing well look i mean failure this one sort of hanging on in there the rest nothing now when do i give up on these i keep watering them i keep saying good words to them when do i just think no and stick these in the compost bin let me know because i don't want to give up on them too soon talking of seeds let me show you these ones can you see the little ones growing there are a few if you remember i planted two lots some this side some that side these ones are coming through they're like the slowest growing plants in the world but they're getting there well i've had a tidy up well not past there i haven't but this part of the boat looks nice and tidy i'm going to stroll down to slapton now can't pick it up on the camera but the water's gone a really strange brown so i've come down to see charlie and carolyn they're settling in and charlie was just talking about a tool that he's got in his toolbox and he has no idea what it is i've had it in my toolbox for years and years and years and uh, i've never had the foggiest what it could what be it does. it's got something some stamping on it it says great britain tool steel hardened and ground edges and then it says they're british butner patent a and then it's at two nine two four three slash four five anybody got any ideas what that could be what could it be does it say anything on the sleeve it's, that it uh, comes on it, it just says british butner Ooh. googled it and i cannot find anything I'd just really be interested to know if, if uh, any of your friends uh, or any yeah. of your viewers yeah. um, knew what no. it was. Oh, well, well, we'll ask the internet. There's some clever people out there, Charlie. Oh, yeah. 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 Loads of baby lambs in there. Oops, I'm attached. Ah, let me go. Let me go. Right. Yeah, lots of baby lambs. Looking after those birds, it's like a full-time job, you know. We really should have got some food in. Supplies are low. But Glenn reminded me that we've got some mints in the fridge and we've got some pasta. It's going to have to be some sort of pasta, beef, mince dish. Not my favourite, that's for sure. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with it. Oh, got some red wine. Throw that in there as well. So it'll be all right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to try and get some flavour in there. I've got these cherry tomatoes, onion and some garlic and I'm going to roast these. That will give us a nice base for the sauce. Oh, nicey, nice. I'm going to sprinkle in some, some Italian herbs. 
and hope that it tastes delicious. Oh, it's smelling good. Here we go, Mr. Warner. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Monday. Start of a new week. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we are in Northampton an awful lot this week. Some may say that's bad planning. Glenn always goes to the office on a Monday anyway, but it's also our granddaughter's seventh birthday. Now, this time last year, this was the day before we went into a national lockdown. So her birthday party had been cancelled last year and obviously she's got another lockdown birthday. Hopefully it's the last one. We're going to the office and then we're going to drop her card in later when she uh, gets back from school. we got some shopping to do today and there was something else I meant to tell you. Can't remember. Can't remember. Oh, yeah. Why are we going to Northampton Tuesday, Wednesday? Uh, Glenn's got his jab tomorrow. I've got mine Wednesday. That's the bad planning bit. But anyway, that's that's just the way it is. So, come on. Let's go. It feels like spring today. The birds are singing their hearts out. Off we go. Before we go to the office, we're gonna go shopping. Got a list. I'm trying to use stuff that's in the cupboard, so it's not a vast list. We got some random dinners this week. <laughs> So, got Evie a uh, paint your own unicorn money box and some chocolate and a card. And also, as we do with all the grandkids, we put some money in an account for them and uh, buy them premium bonds. So, something fabulous has happened. We were contacted a while ago by a production company who were making a documentary about the first 100 days of lockdown. They asked to use some of our footage and I've just seen the actual finished video. It is amazing. We feature in it throughout and most of the time I'm wearing pyjamas, which tells me that in the first 100 days of lockdown, I didn't get dressed much. I'm going to leave a link below. Please check it out. It is inspiring. Not our bit. Our bit's not inspiring. Our bit's just me in my pyjamas eating stuff. But, you know, the rest of it is inspiring. Good morning. It's six o'clock on Tuesday the 24th of March. People across the nation are waking up to unprecedented restrictions on the way we live. Day one of lockdown. Interesting times. Right, we're just leaving the office. Gonna drop Evie's present off. Look at that card, that's awesome, I love it. Obviously we can't stop in and see them or anything. We're literally just doing a curbside drop off. This is where I'm coming for my vaccination on Wednesday. Yeah. Vaccination centre. Uh, yeah. There you go, my darling. Oh, so that's her present dropped off. They were playing out in the park. So that is good. From next week, we will be able to, to see them. As in, sit outside and have a cup of tea. So looking forward to that. But anyway, that's Evie's birthday present dropped off. We're heading back to the boat now. All sorted. Come on, Mr. Warner. Let's go. What a lovely afternoon. It's toasty and warm in here. That's because the sun's been shining. It's amazing how boats warm up when the sun's on them. Anyway, I'm going to put the shopping away. Mr. Warner is outside. He's, he's been tea cutting the boat. It's going to do another panel. And then the next episode of Vlog will launch is in an hour. So, yeah, all go today. While I'm putting the shopping away, I am going to listen to some more of my audio book. What one am I listening to now, I hear you say? It's called The Midnight Library. Oh, it's a good book. Oh, I love it. It's a good one. At any opportunity, washing up, folding laundry, walking, whenever I can, I'll, I'll stick it on. So it's a good one. So I'm just, I've been giving the 
the boat are clean. I'm doing a panel at a time because I'm using some tea cut on it. But all around this hatch there was silicon, so I'm trying to get that off as well because it looks rubbish. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So it's a little, just a bit, little bit cleaner. Needs a really good wash. I noticed that we're along the bottom and the thing has got quite a bit of rust coming. So I need to get on and do that. Welcome to this vlog. Where this week's vlog all now live. There we go. Vlog all launched. Time to get dinner on the go. Just making a salad and got some wedges in the oven. Gorgeous colour sky out there this evening. Oh, Mr. Warner, this is looking tasty. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I feel a bit ropey this morning. My whole body aches. Got a little bit of a sore throat as well. I'm on a mission, a spring clean mission. So I had a good tidy up, as you know, down that end. Give us a wave, Mr. Warner. I had a good tidy up down there the other day and it looks good. And you get to the kitchen and it's cluttered everywhere. So I was thinking, right, what can go? What can go here? The microwave, we only use it to heat beans and we don't eat beans very often. So I was like, no, Glenn, that can go. So I'm just giving it a clean and that's going today. I bet it's going to be minging behind there. Oh yes. Oh, that's horrible. Mr. Warner has his COVID jab today. He is going to go to the office this morning. He's got some stuff to drop off and sort out there. He's got his jab at 1.40 and then he's coming back. I'm still feeling not 100%. And do you know what I've just done? I've just ate a bar of chocolate. And it's made me feel no better. I am cross with myself though that I stuffed the chocolate bar. I don't know why I thought it'd make me feel better. It didn't. So here we go, off to Northampton again today. This week, most of this week's gonna be spent in Northampton. But um, yeah, got my jab today, a little bit nervous. Yeah, so let's see how today goes, let's get it done. Right, let's go. Nutshells looking lovely in the spring sunshine. Do you remember at the beginning of the year, Louise from Narrow Boat Changing Pace and I set out to walk a thousand miles in 2021? Well, we set up a Facebook group, Walk 1000 Miles. So this week we're playing a game called Walking Bingo. And there's certain things that we need to find, including a red letter box, a tea shop, a cricket pitch, football pitch there's nine things in total I think a Union Jack flag and a couple of other things so as we walk through the village we're going to see what we can find still a little bit muddy down here but nowhere near as bad as the other day most of the trees are still bare but this one can you see that's new leaves beautiful blossom Bingo. Not far now. Oh, I'm so glad I went out. I feel much better for that walk. Still feel knackered, but I'm just gonna have a nice easy afternoon working on my computer with my feet up. So I've just arrived at the doctor's surgery. Here I go, wish me luck. Okay, I'm all done. Got my card. I've had the AstraZeneca vaccine. It was really quick, really easy. Arm's obviously gonna be a bit little sore. Mrs Warner's got hers tomorrow. I know it was crap planning. We spent more time in Northampton this week than than ever, and it's only Tuesday. Glenn's picked these up from Deb's. He's got loads in the car apparently, so I can take some to my mum's tomorrow. Oh, they smell so lovely. This indicator doesn't work on this van, and it's had to do with the wiring. So I'm going to strip this off and have a quick look. So typically, I need a screwdriver that I haven't got to get in there. I didn't see that hole there. After a lot of aggravation. I can't do it. I've stripped the door down, I've had it all in pieces and I think the brake is in the mirror. I need to take the mirror off which is more tools and I'm not walking back and back again. So uh, I'm going to save this job until I can get the van down to the boat where I, so I've got all my tools to hand. For tonight's dinner, got chicken in the oven, going to do some roast potatoes, bit of broccoli, bit of carrots, like a mini roast dinner. Mini roast dinner. 
Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Wednesday. Glenn has woken up after his jab, feeling fantastic. I mean, that man is like a medical curio. That's it. I've got a headache, but a little bit of headache, but nothing. But he's feeling fine, yeah. as in much better than he normally feels. Who knew? Who knew? Anyway. I'm just about to jump in the shower, wash my hair. We were just saying, oh, we'd love a bacon sandwich. No we got no bread. And then Glenn, because he's a man that can, says, oh, shall I make some tortilla wraps? I was like, yes, you can, Glenn. So, he's on a mission. Here's my, here's my dough for my, for my flatbreads. Let's see how these bad boys turn out. First one, see how it cooks. Not going too bad. That looks amazing. Oh, Mr. Warner. He's so talented. Look at that. Thanks, Mr. Warner. That looks lovely. Oh, it's a lovely day out here. Not cold. It was raining about 20 minutes ago, but dried up lovely. Oh my goodness, there's loads. It smells lovely, doesn't it? Dropping to your mum or they've got to go, basically. Do you know, all this morning, I was like, I must not forget the lavender bag that Sky sent for my mum. Must not forget it, must not forget it. Well, guess what? I've forgotten it. The radio is kicking out some great tunes today. Oh, I tell you what, I can't wait to dance. Just dance and dance and dance give them away do what you want get yeah <laughs> yeah if you know anyone who wants some mum yeah i'll give some to the lady across there yeah smells good well, in here mum well i've made a couple of cakes a couple of cakes this is why it smells so good in here look yeah, at right. these fish and chip time glenn that's a mighty fine feast so we're a little bit early for me jab we're waiting at the office car park the office is just just a very short distance from the vaccination center while i'm sitting here with the sun shining through the window i'm going to reply to some youtube comments mr warner his g3 in the, the van whatever that means what are you doing glenn a few little scratches on the van and uh the other few weeks ago the g3 exploded so i put some in this tupperware container and so I thought I'd just grab it from the office and see if it gets rid of the light scratches. Oh, have fun. Yeah. Glenn's got an exciting post. He knows yeah. what it is though, because he ordered them. And he has bought himself some new jeans. I'm just replying to some uh, YouTube comments and there's one here from Sue. And she's saying, uh, can you explain Vloggle to me? So Vloggle is a collection of narrowboat vlogs. And just in case you haven't checked it out yet, I will put a link in the description below. But also, Sue lives in Florida and she's celebrating her 54th wedding anniversary this week so many many congratulations sue i bet the sun is shining in florida i hope you have a wonderful time off we go oh look it's quite busy it's all so well organized footprints where to go this is where we got a queue down here Jab done. It was like a well-oiled machine. It was really busy, but there was people like every step of the way, go this way, do this, answer this question. This is a wonderful sight. We knew this day was happening soon. It looks like the cones have been moved and we can drive down. Oh, it's a happy day. Jules Fuels has been today. We left them an order and they've delivered it. Glenn's putting it in his cold store. Right, so we just got in. I should start watching narrowboat vlogs for next week's vlog all, but I'm not. I'm gonna go for a walk now. It is, it's like five o'clock. So I've got a good hour, and pl hour plus before it gets dark. So that is a good thing. Cause I don't wanna be doing that walking in the dark again. Just look how lovely that blossom looks. And look how lovely the evening is. Mr. Warner joining me. 
but it's not actually he's cycling off but he said he'd cycle the bike back home and then he'd walk back down to uh to meet me because yes it's getting dark again i really didn't think it through did i i was chatting to miramar in the field for too long anyway let's get my arse into gear and get back before it gets too dark i don't learn my lesson do i left it way too late to come back there's a man coming towards me i'm hoping it's mr warner it is Mr. Warner. I can hear his voice. He's on the phone. He's come to meet me. What a hero. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Thursday. I haven't got dressed yet, but I, th I just wanted to check in and say hello before I got dressed. I'm making a cup of coffee and a sausage sandwich. I can multitask like that. Today would have been my dad's 80th birthday he loved scratch cards whenever it was his birthday father's day christmas all he wanted was scratch cards and he liked the ones the one pound ones i used to buy him the expensive ones and he said no i like those one pound ones and he used to have a whole load of them on his birthday and throughout the day he would like take one and he would scratch 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 so that's what i'm gonna do today i brought 10 and I'm gonna, throughout the day, just scratchy, scratchy, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's make the coffee and the bacon sandwich. Glenn is there on his computer and is doing a little bit of work and then he is helping our friend Jeff and Sally. They're moving soon and they've got to shift some stuff basically. So 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 Glenn is is the hired muscle for today. Those sausages look perfect. Alright, let's start the first one. Find three identical symbols. You have to find three identical coins in a vertical, horizontal or diagonal line. Nothing yet. That one is not a winner. I didn't really expect it to be, to be honest. I've got a lot of work to do today, so I really need to get dressed and crack on. Oh man, I've talked to so many people this morning online. My face is actually aching from talking and smiling. Ugh. It's like my cheeks need a rest. I'm going to make a cup of tea before I crack on. I've got so much to do today. Definitely going out for a walk though. Right, I'm working my way through these. I haven't won a penny yet. Right, I've done all my scratch cards. This is the last one. I am really keen to get out for a walk. But it is raining. I'm going to wait for it to stop, I think. Well, fingers crossed it'll stop in a bit. Oh, boat going past. The graphics on it are lovely. Be obsessively grateful. Oh, man, I love that. Beautiful graphics on there. Well, just like when Dad was alive, none of those pound scratch cards paid out. Bad news, I've been faffing around for ages and not been very productive. Good news, it stopped raining. I'm off. I'm going to do my four-mile walk, but I'm going to do it in the reverse order. Well, nothing like a change, is there? I've just spotted Mr Warner come in. We'll have a quick chat with him. So I'm off for a walk. Don't fancy coming? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I'm about as far away from the boat before I loop back and it's looking very much like it may pour. I'm struggling today. My legs feel like lead and my arms aren't much better. I am really trudging around. I don't know whether it's the side effects of the vaccine or just that I'm tired but it's it's a struggle and this is the walk that usually is a breeze when I get back I'm gonna put my feet up it's pouring with rain now I feel knackered like really tired not far from the boat though I'm back soaking wet I'm gonna put my PJs on lay on the bed I am so tired like so tired Hello, good morning and 
welcome to Friday, also known as one of my most favourite days of the week. Just got out of the shower, excuse the hairdo. Feeling much better today, like much, 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 much better. It was a restless night's sleep, I was hot, I was cold, I was sweating, but generally feeling much better today so that's all right my arm's still a bit sore but i can live with that it is raining outside not just a little bit it has been raining lots so what's going on today at 11 o'clock we got the live stream with saul and debbie from barely floating oh i can't wait to speak to them and then well and then nothing actually oh i've got more vlogs to watch for now i vote vlog or i've got to crack on with that i should i should have sent it over to samuel by now but i'm i'm behind sketch that's all right though um and then other than that nothing i'm not gonna go for a walk today i'm gonna take it easy before we do the live stream uh it's time for some breakfast and we got some bread we got four slices of the bread that my mum gave me and we got three sausages left from the sausages i cooked yesterday so i'm gonna toast the bread with some cheese slice the sausage oh it'll be a feast right bread bit of butter some chili jam on top of that i'm gonna do some cheese right let's stick that under so we got the chili jam the cheese and the sliced sausage on top under that go all right here is where it could all go horribly wrong i'm gonna try and turn it over so we got a sandwich so i can toast the bottom whoa that wasn't too bad not as bad as i expected oh here we go that weren't bad at all right i'm just going to toast that then flip it over toast the other side this is a lot of palaver for a sausage sandwich Ta -da! this better be worth it oh we just done the live stream with debbie and soul from barely floating oh it was good to chat to them i really enjoyed it i'm gonna make a super effort to try and do narrow boat stories every friday let me know if you are on a boat and you'd like to be on narrow boat stories drop me a message and uh, we can fix that up okay it is pouring with rain Glen's off to Northampton. Gonna do the washing up. It is pouring. I have that real joy of the fact that I know I don't have to go out. I can stay warm. I can watch narrow boat vlogs for vloggle. I can put my feet up. It's a good feeling. It's that sort of warm inside feeling. Right, so I've just got to the unit. I'm going to give myself about an hour to get everything done because some of the stuff I can't do till Monday. I've got a couple of parcels for me. I think this one's the battery for Lewis's moped, which will be I'll be taking to him on Monday because he's got his CB2 at, CBT at last on the 5th of April. So he'll be keen to get this, uh, get some use out of this bike. It's been MOT, so can you believe it? It's since September and he's been trying to get his uh, CBD done since then. Well, he had to apply for his license first and then he got his license and then his CBT, which you have to take, it's like a test. Uh, well, it's not a test, it's more like training um, to make sure you're safe. To um, uh, that's been cancelled every time since September. Three times I think he's had it cancelled. So anyway, so that's great. That's that new battery. I'll fit that for him Monday and then I'll put that bike in the van. There's two parcels here. I've no idea what these are. Uh, both for me by the looks of it. Just have a quick look. Oh, what's this, one? Oh, this is the telephone I got from my mother. Let's hope that this is quite... A simple thing yeah I've got this telephone from my mum because it's got caller ID on it and her caller ID is not working it was a refurb phone it's got new batteries in it, it cost 15 quid so excellent I will give that to my mother uh, lastly I hope this is the you remember my will it run video on the strimmer yeah so it looks so basically, the little, the little plastic, there's four little plastic lugs in there and mine broke. It looks identical. Yeah, I'll give that a go. So that's my new bit for the 
strimmer and then there's a letter from Mrs. Warner. Well, it's actually from me and Mrs. Warner, but I'll save that for Mrs. Warner when we get back. I've just had a fascinating phone call. Oh, you know I love a fascinating phone call. I was watching vlogs for Vloggle and I came across a vlog I have never seen before. It was a guy running along the towpath in London and giving a great commentary of what he was going past. So I contacted Eric and said, can I use a couple of clips from your video in Narrowboat Vloggle? And he said, yes. He told me about an event that he was involved in organizing. And it's a summer long series of festivals on the water where basically they move along the canal and stay at different places and it'll be a whole collection of boats and roving traders and lots of events this whole group will move along the canal like a moving festival it sounds fascinating and i can't wait to learn more so i finished all my work at the office just got to go drop around the post box and then nip to the shop on the way back home you know what we've been so lazy lately instead of quality tea leaves we've been using tea bags i've just refilled the caddy with tea leaves while i was doing that i was remembering that i got some delicious teas that my mum brought me for christmas i thought i'd make myself a proper posh cup of tea i've got this one it says a sam special second flush i have no idea what that means it says the finest tippy golden norwich pico i mean that doesn't even sound like a proper sentence does it let me read that again finest tippy golden orange pico pico spelled p-k-o-e and a sam of prime quality large leaves with lots of golden tips tasting deliciously malty and richly spiced producing a deep amber color anyway i'm gonna give it a try and, and see what it tastes like right i think that should be enough for one cup of tea right let's give this a go oh looks like a nice cup of tea now not a clue whether i should add milk to this i don't think that needs milk you know i'm going to put a drop in see what it tastes like with or without the milk but it's a lovely cup of tea maybe i put a drop too much in there it tastes better without the milk well mr warner has just come home with some friday deliciousness going on there but also an exciting looking card let's have a look got this you got it oh look to mr and mrs warner here is just a little donation towards medical detection dogs we look forward to watching your weekly vlogs you both radiate with positivity and it's definitely shown us that living the simple life can be so rewarding and beneficial for the heart and soul all the best on your charity walk love emma and lauren sisters from essex p.s have you heard of kofi coffee it's a donation page so your viewers stroke subscribers can buy you a coffee i'm sure lots would like to treat you oh that is so kind thank you so much for the sponsorship money and the lovely card that is great i love that thank you so much i've been called lots of things and positive is one, one of them but <laughs> thank you for it anyway just about to cook dinner run out of gas mr warner go out there all he's got to do is lift that switch a nozzle over then we'll be up and running right now that's sorted what have we got for dinner tonight well glenn's picked up some minced beef got some pulses and grains and i found this at the back of the cupboard also got some green beans so i'm gonna make a bowl of deliciousness yeah so that mcculloch well is that known. a premium brand it's like a it's it's not top of the range yeah it's a mid-range dish yeah just a not a no yeah exactly the same exactly thing. the same different color that's all the only difference oh different color here we go this is a one dish wonder so the mints some tikka masala paste, tin of tomatoes, spoonful of mango chutney, 
and a sachet of rice and, and lentils and stuff like that. It's a mighty fine feast. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Friday night curry. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. It is a beautiful day out there, but that's not the most exciting part. Oh no, we are going to the garden centre. I can barely contain myself. I'm gonna get some more compost to put in my veg bed so I can plant my seeds out. And also, I'm gonna buy some herbs for my little herb container. So that's my little herb box. Needs some desperate work. He just likes sitting there to terrorise people as they drive past. Mr. One, I can't tell you how excited I am to be going to the garden centre. So, the hills you see in front of us are Dunstable Downs. A beautiful area for walking. Really want to get out and explore more of this area. So, this town is called Dunstable. I haven't been through here for years. Do you know what I remember about Dunstable? This. It's rubbish traffic. And it hasn't changed. Here we go, Mr. Warner. It's a big one, this one. It's busy. I'll go that way. And I'll meet you back here. You go that way. They haven't got a great selection of herbs. Do you know, we have a week to do this sort of shopping and yet we choose to come at a weekend. We thought while we were at the garden centre, which is very near to Glen's mum's, we would pop in and say hello. She doesn't know we're coming. She's not very good with, uh, spontaneous. with spontaneous visits. So we may have to pull over and, and let her know we're on our way. We just thought we'd pop in seeing we're so close. Never been this way before. Where are we heading towards, Glen? Backford, just on the outskirts of Harpenden. And then we'll drop down to Snorbin. Ah, we are gone the back way. Fed up with busy roads. So that car over there has blocked the road and there's a queue of cars behind us can't move till that car goes all those cars couldn't get out but mr warner could <laughs> oh i did shut my eyes though oh mr warner he's the master of reversing so this is st albans high street this is the town where glenn grew up thriving high street actually the way it looks it so that was a quick stop off at Glen's Mum's on our way back to the boat now. Oh, I can't wait to get me plants planted. Glen has been into Tesco's to get some dinner for tonight. We have stopped to get fuel and also some more bags of compost that they had in the garage. I'm going to be sorted with... Uh, no more compost for you. No, no more compost. I'm, I'm, I've got everything I need. Sadly though, I don't think I'm going to get time this afternoon to plant out my seeds. Because I've got to edit, boxes, yeah, Glenn's got to make the boxes, but I've also got to edit this video so that you've got something to watch tomorrow morning. So I think that's going to be it for this week. Well, a week. Do you know why Glenn's got this miserable face? Oh. Shall I tell you? We've just driven back in the van. The van has started making a noise. Mr. Warner is distraught at this. Rattling. It's yeah. a rattle. Mr. Warner, just, just stick with stay us. With it, stay, stay, stay with it. Stay with us, okay. just, for, just for a while. I didn't feel I got a lot done this week, but there were some good things that happened. The 100 Days documentary on YouTube was a great watch. And I'm not just saying that because we were in it. Well, it was Lisa features that throughout the video. <laughs> yeah, mainly in my pyjamas. Yeah. But anyway, that yeah, was a great film. I will leave a link below. Please check it out. The filmmakers that created that video, I think, did an excellent job. It's a great record of those first 100 days in lockdown. So that was excellent. I've got some thank yous to say. Lots of thank yous. I've had so many lovely, kind donations from a walking marathon for medical detection dogs. So many. Thank you to Jody. Jodie, I was really hoping you'd walk this marathon with me, but when you told me that you hated walking, and especially hills, mm, I don't, it's not for you. But thank you for the donation. I really appreciate it. Some of these have come through as anonymous, and 
if you want to keep anonymous that's absolutely fine but if it's just automatically gone anonymous let me know and i can give you a shout out so an, an anonymous donation good luck all of you thank you elaine i love watching your determination to accomplish this goal it's an amazing cause hugs from halifax nova scotia thank you so much elaine robert smith from the usa uh, i want to help you with your cause i love your youtube channel a life full of men and you and glenn are a joy to watch and i really love your post every week thank you no thank you robert thank you so much that was really generous of you thank you someone got in touch with me and said they donated but didn't want me to share their details so you know who you are thank you thank you Oh yeah, and my mum's my mum's donated as well. David, put fantastic charity. Love watching your progress on the vlog, David. Thank you, David. Really appreciate that. This one's come through as anonymous. Lisa, my sister Gloria and I will be walking with you that day on a trail here in Ra is it Rayleigh? Raleigh. In, in, <laughs> in, I think it's Raleigh. Rayleigh. Yeah, yeah. In Rayleigh. NC, keep up your training, drink lots of water. Oh, thank you so much. Gloria, if I remember rightly, is your sister Ruth? I think so. But anyway, thank you both. Uh, someone anonymous, cheering you on from the States. Lovely vlog, thank you. Uh, another anonymous, just uh, with a donation. Keith, thank you so much that was really generous keith, keith venus, venus grandson venus yeah uh christine all the best girls i know you will put your all into this we will do my fr lovely friend dawn me and dawn we once climbed ben nevis that was a that was a trek we were talking about that the other day and we were saying how many years ago was that oh, it was a lot of years ago we were both much fitter. Dawn, I know you're going to achieve this lovely lady. Tracy, I think I've mentioned all the others. I'm sure I mentioned Isabel and Stuart last week yeah. and Debs and Steve and Paul and Auntie. I'm sure I mentioned Probably you last week, but thank you. Thank you. I really need to up my walking next week. I feel that I've slacked off a little bit this a bit week. Rough this week didn't yeah, you? did weren't feeling great. Yeah. Weren't feeling great. But anyway here's to next week it's the first phase of unlocking next week so we can meet six people or two two households and mix outside the calendar is filling up filling mm. up we've got a lovely space outside so we can welcome four other people or a whole nother family it's so exciting i'm really looking forward to next week we're gonna leave you here and we look forward to catching up with you next week Take care. See ya. Bye.